All right, so I'm back from the doctors, and like I said, every person deals with temptations, right? All right. So when you are trying not to be attracted to a married woman, it don't mean you're not going to think desire versus lust. What's the difference? Well, you know, you're behaving yourself when you're whipped around her, right? If she's married and you're not sure she's interested in you, all right? <clears throat> all right. Now, these are just things in my life that I had to deal with, right? I was married, so I know what that means, right? And when I was with my wife, I don't think me and the girl, <laughs> I mentioned the tarot card reader girl, <laughs> actually did anything. But what I'm saying is we could have, but I don't recall, but I don't think we did. But, you know, I... What, Daffy tried to kill me afterwards, right? See, that's sarcasm. That's because I don't know that, with, that I went that far. Mm -hmm. It was after that, right, that I undressed and got under the covers anyway. And then she still couldn't see me <laughs> naked or anything. But that's because, again, I'm trying to let the Lord metaphorically cover me. Because <laughs> some Christians won't do tarot card reading, you know what I mean? <laughs> But I'm not like that, right? This is where I'm going to set my life by tarot cards anyway, if you know what I mean, right? A fool is someone who plays a game of cards with their lives, which is still the game of chance, and hope they'll win, right? No, you're not going to win. You're not going to win. You're going to lose, right? And the reason is you're playing cards with your life, and the cards can be re-dealt and reshuffled and rearranged, so... No matter what you do, right, if you're putting your trust in a bunch of a deck of cards, right, you're going to lose. You're going to lose eventually. You're, you're going to shuffle the deck wrong. <laughs> and that's the end of the game, huh? <laughs> right. No, no. I don't put my faith in it, right? That's why I got under the covers so the Lord could cover me, you know, while I did the tarot card reading with the girl, right? Now, unless she came back later and Daphne let us have a menage a trois, which I don't recall, right? Just being with Daphne, right? The rest of the night, right? Exactly. <laughs> now, that's made up to Daphne, but so is what I'm saying about Amanda, right? <laughs> you know that, you know. But this person don't know that. So they're obviously someone I'm around, but don't really want to get to know me, but won't act like they're better than me or something, right? <laughs> And are having a serious attitude towards being acting like they're not racist. Because they're tolerating you. Well, that's your racism. You're tolerating you, right? Like you're... Are more important than me. <laughs> and that your opinion of me is that you gotta tolerate me in the first place, right? <laughs> <clears throat> now, mm-hmm. I can't read Mackenzie's mind. That's why I can't make a move on her, right? You know what I mean, right? Either one, either one. <laughs> I know, right? But, see, she can make a move on me, but I ain't saying she did that either, but it would be something kind of weird and crazy, right? Plus, like with Maria, I don't want her, if I do happen to find a girlfriend, to pretend I'm trying to break up her and Matt when I'm not doing that either, either. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, right? <laughs> no. So what I'm saying there is something different too, okay? Right. right. <laughs> no. Okay, like with Miley Cyrus and Lim. I don't think Miley Cyrus would even worry about me when they came, right? But it's obvious to me why the age of consent is what? To the Georgia. <laughs> I know what she's coming here for. Now, when I was saying what I was saying, though, it had nothing to do with Molly even thinking of me. Right? And plus, I was around Molly, and she's six years older than Molly, so I wasn't even worried about Molly herself. Right? You know, I wasn't saying nothing to break up her, mess with her, and them either. either. Nope, nope, not at all, not at all. So it shouldn't have either, unless, again... Molly is using the mental illness card, right, against me because Lim was trying to be an honorable guy or something and she didn't want that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing that from there on out. <laughs> anyway, 
Now, I can't tell her I would turn her down if she came into you know, my house and one of the one booby. <laughs> Dur or no. <laughs> I'm lucky for a girlfriend, right? So you can't take advantage of me that way either, but if you did, I don't know. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> right? I'm not saying that now. <laughs> it's, it's, it sounds hypothetical, right? It sounds made up. <laughs> right. So that's all what it is. What it is. <laughs> Nice tongue with the doll, though. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> they got her on again, right? But anyway, but anyway. <laughs> but like I said, I don't know Miley outside of what? <laughs> uh, her career on Disney and right, MTV or whatever, right? <laughs> That's it. That's it. I've never met her. I've never talked to her. I've never interacted with her live. Not even Limp, right? I don't know him either, either. Right? I'm not supposed to. Even though they came to my town, right? I was with the crowd. I didn't try to interact with them. Right? At all, at all. But now she can't come to me, right, in the middle of the night and leave and then Limp and shoot me or something either. I don't know if that happened either, but you can't do that. Limp, right? You don't own the girl either, either. <laughs> He's not your uh, girlfriend for life if, you know, you're not giving her what she wants. And she says, well, what about Shane? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't say that either, either. But I can't say I would turn it down. <laughs> but I can't say I did it either, either right? It's called a catch-22, right? <laughs> I can't say that's not attractive to me because I like Asian girls that are kind of petite like Miley, too, right? <laughs> But I don't know Molly personally. I never met her, right? <laughs> the only way I could have is if she snuck out <laughs> from everybody and gave me the apartment, right? You get bullied, bully, right? I, don't, I can't even say that happened. <sighs> That's all I saw the time I'm around the Indonesian girl and Mariko and all that. And again, oh no. We had tea and all that. I don't know, sorry. Now, I am looking to marry an Asian girl, but I don't think that would be criminal, <laughs> even if I thought the girl was acting, you know, racist towards me, <laughs> and the women were acting racist towards me and thinking I was sexually responding to the girl when I wasn't even hard, right? That's what I was more worried about. I wasn't even sexually responding to her. And if they think my three-inch penis is hard and they can see it through my shorts, reason for that is what? Mm -hmm. I'm big on soft. <laughs> You're big on soft, right? If you think three inches is big on soft, though, and I'm twice the length hard, right? You just seeing what you want to see then. <laughs> <coughs> right. <laughs> all I'm saying, all I'm saying. Not judging you now. Mm -mm. I don't do that. I know. But don't judge me either when I don't know the girl's motives there, right? I don't even know she was 15, right? And you started telling me all that on YouTube anyway. That's too late. <laughs> Whatever interaction we're doing, I didn't vandalize the place. I paid my bill when I left. What crime did I commit both times? Both times I went out there. I didn't vandalize the place. I didn't break up anything. I didn't steal anything, right? I didn't take anything that wasn't mine, right? And even if the girl says she was 37 and you told me after you came out in the bathroom she was 15, that's too late, right? I didn't have what I wanted and you're interfering in that because you knew. Because you knew. <laughs> she was 15. She knew she was 15. The whole story knew she was 15 but me, but you. <clears throat> so why'd she do it? <laughs> You won't tell me that either, but I'm sure it didn't have nothing to do with me just because I was there and she did it with me. Oh, no. <laughs> Had to do with you and her's relationship. Oh, no. Not mine and her relationship because we don't have one until I came into the store anyway. And then whatever happened, I can't recall mm -hmm. everything right? but the nail job itself. And during the nail job, I was acting normal, so... What crime did I commit? Did we go into the bathroom and have sex? Yes or no? 
You either answer that question or you can't, or won't, or you lie about it. And that's what I mean. You act like I just hopped off the bus, Gus, right? <clears throat> to quote Paul Simon in 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. And again, all she would be is a temporary lover, right? <laughs> Who I can't say 100% I was with or not, right? But I was around when I lost an hour of time. And I know we're Mary Bell and <laughs> Rose. <clears throat> I can last. <laughs> mm -hmm. Longer than your typical guy. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, what I'm thinking, though, is really private, but it's related to what I'm telling you. I would do with my I did with my girlfriends when I was with them. Kiss them, make out with them, you know. Kiss their necks, you know, do the hickey thing sometimes. Blowing their ears, right? <clears throat> Brush back their hair to blow in their ears. But I'm doing it romantically, you know. And then work my way down her body. <laughs> or up. <laughs> sometimes too, right? I can go down and then back up the back <laughs> and kiss her on her spine going up her spine. Right? <clears throat> Not saying I did, but I could, right? Right, right. Though last night, right, <laughs> she should have been with her husband, not sneak out and come to me. <laughs> right, right. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> And I'm just saying what I had done with my ex-girlfriends, right? Not her and I. <clears throat> Not to tempt her. Mm -hmm. I hope her and her husband are happy in their sex life and their relationship. Ain't none's my business. <laughs> tea tall, tea tall. At all, at all. <laughs> But if the girl's 15, she's not supposed to be working until the store she's 16. I didn't know that. <laughs> Is she 16 now? <laughs> I know she is. So let it go. Let it go. <laughs> See, that's accountability versus was it something I was trying to do to break the law myself or did she know she was 15 and I wouldn't have been with her if she, unless she told me she was 37, right? <laughs> and did she have a reason for being with me that I don't know about? Probably. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like, right? She had a reason to be with me, but he don't want me to remember and know what we said, right? And she knows what's going on, but I don't, so I'm trying to guess, right? It, again, ain't a crime to guess what's going on when something's going on. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I guessed many things, including I could have passed out and fell asleep in the chair itself, right? First thing I guess, right? That's not a crime, even if we went to the bathroom. Right? No, it's not. Because, see, she knows what he's causing me amnesia about with Mariko or the Japanese reference or whatever, right? Not me. Not me. I don't think I'm doing anything with the girls. <laughs> Mariko or the Indonesian girl. <laughs> and I'm not fucking her, right? <laughs> but I can't say she don't want me because of him, right? <laughs> Then she's trying to be with me, and I'm trying to respect the marriage, but I can't, so I don't know what to do about it, but we go all the way anyway, and then that's it, that's it. <clears throat> now, what do you, though, think would make me go all the way with Mariko if she's married to another man? He's not having sex with her himself. Which means what? He's marrying her for the wrong reasons, probably. Probably. <laughs> It's like the woman at the well. Mm -hmm. She had five husbands, one lover, and met Jesus as the seventh man in her life. Mm -hmm. Though he's both in the Lord, right? From heaven. From heaven. <sighs> two, two. But he can metamorph, can you? No, no. So don't worry about the arrangement there mm -hmm. between her and him. But it could have to do with Isaiah 4.1. Seven women, and she's one of the seven, right? Shall take hold of one man, being Jesus, I know, saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel, and that's because by that in particular our reproach, which is a form of what? Marriage, marriage. Now, what's the key, though, there, right? 
Rachel. See, a scripture is backed up by another scripture where Rachel and Leah were competing for Jacob and Leah was having children for the first seven years. Okay. <laughs> Do you get that as well? <laughs> it took Rachel seven years to have a child with Jacob Lot. Mm -hmm. The agreement with her father. And <laughs> right. Or she was O negative and it was harder for Jacob to get her pregnant. I don't know. I don't know. Something was wrong. Something was wrong. <laughs> But, no, <laughs> after the seven years, the seven years, she got pregnant. <laughs> now, the second time she got pregnant, she died. But could that have to do again with the band and Jacob arguing about the idol? Which, who had it? Rachel. Rachel. And what did they say would happen to the person who had it? They would die. And how did Rachel die in childbirth? Why? Because the Lord said so. Who was her Lord? Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> <clears throat> now, is there another reason? If she was O negative and had a second child with her husband, and that was why she was having difficulty conceiving, right? In the first place, right? And she was prettier than Leah, but Leah was doe eyed or whatever that means, right? <laughs> Lazy eye, right? Whatever, whatever. Cockamamie. <laughs> Alright, cock eyed or something. <laughs> and it's like with Bill Hyde and Reuben, right? Is it really that bad that one of his concubines sat with his son? Probably not. You know why? <laughs> she wasn't his wife. <laughs> you know what I mean? He didn't legally marry her. <laughs> he just impregnated her. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> like right, Sarah and uh, Hagar, right? But see, Sarah was the wife. Hagar was her slave. That's why you don't understand. The promise was to Isaac, not Jacob, right? I mean, Is uh, Ishmael, Ishmael. That through his seed, the Messiah would come, not through Ishmael's seed. That's what that's about there, Muslims and Jews, right? It's not about you, <laughs> It's not about really Jacob or <laughs> Israel or Abraham right? or Isaac. Right? It's that the promise was that Sarah would have a child in old age, right? And through that child, the line of the Messiah would be established forever. forever. Right. <laughs> now, who do I think I am? <laughs> Right. I'm of the seven women Jesus knew I know, <laughs> during his ministry, <clears throat> starting with the woman at the well. And if you are mentioned besides her, <laughs> you count them all. <laughs> you count them all for yourselves. But if there are seven women named besides his own mother, right? Yeah, maybe your own mother. <laughs> That's crazy. Right. No. And you can't get pregnant by your dad, right? That's crazy, too. That's, that's, okay. <laughs> that's what Joyce Myers is on about. Her dad did not understand that that's part of the sin of Sodom, <laughs> by the way. By the way, you're not supposed to do that with your dad, even if <laughs> even if you think he's the only man worthy of you or only man, last man in the world. Right? <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Mm -mm. That's again the nods of getting evil. Mm -hmm. Right. So, mm -hmm. well, let's count the number of women. <laughs> right, right. Mentioned by name. By name. We got Mary Magdalene. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And this is around Luke somewhere, right? It mentions the women. <laughs> somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who gave him of their substance, right? There's Zacchaeus. 
Now they're not gonna tell you this is Sunday school class either. No, they're not. <laughs> At all. <laughs> oh. They can't even handle if Mary was married to him or the woman who was caught in adultery was really his wife. I don't know. Nope, don't seem like it. No, <laughs> no. Or he. <clears throat> Right. Mm -hmm. Well, in Jewish society, you don't bring a man's woman caught in the act of adultery to anyone but her legal husband to see if he'll stone her. <laughs> and that's what the passage says, right? Was the point there, right? <laughs> that was to see if Jesus would stone his own wife caught in the act of adultery. But they also, what did I tell you about that? Brought her by herself. Brought her by herself. <laughs> Well, that creates a loophole in the Jewish law. Because mm -hmm. you're just on them butts, right? They would have had to go get the man and bring him too for Jesus to stone them butts, right? Now, do you think <laughs> it was cause of Jesus and Mary <laughs> that they had conscious or the man? <laughs> they had to go get the man <laughs> to get him <laughs> And stone him with her. Mm -hmm. That's why they wouldn't stone her. Because <laughs> whoever the man was, they would also would have to go get him. Uh -huh. Now this ain't written out in the script. <laughs> I know it ain't. But it's following the Jewish law and customs of the time. Right. <laughs> yes it is. Yes it is. You see, no man is above the law. Right. Not even Jesus. Right. But the stone was wife without the man being brought, they would have to go and get the man <laughs> and bring him there <laughs> to stone him. <laughs> okay. And that's why that's why you don't want to deal with it if it's Jesus' wife. Because you mean you might have to forgive your own wife if she commits adultery with you with another man and you can't kill them both? Yeah, you know. That's what that means. <laughs> right. <laughs> Because <laughs> Satan is teaching you to murder right? your wife and her lover. <laughs> Not God and Jesus. They want you to forgive and say that's your fault. You're probably treating your wife like shit and she's going to another man. <laughs> that's your fault. That's your fault. <laughs> Not your wife's fault. <laughs> You're acting crazier than me, maybe. <laughs> Whoever you are. <laughs> Not going to name names. <laughs> But it's in Luke eight three where they mentioned the women, and one of them was Susanna Herod's wife, <laughs> wife of Herod Stewart, right? Which. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> now, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, has mentioned, but I don't know nothing about that. I don't know either, either. Mm -hmm. That's a different Mary. There's three Marys, though, at the cross, by the way. You know, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Josie and Jesus, right? <laughs> two, two. <laughs> Even though Jesus is the son of God, yes, he's still his mother, right? <clears throat> but sometimes what replaces what? <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Mary Magdalene is mentioned first, and out of whom went seven devils. <laughs> Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod Stewart, and Susanna, and many others which ministered unto him of their substance. <laughs> and certain women. <clears throat> but only seven could be with him. Right. You understand that too, right? You don't get more than seven, and probably they were. Having problems, what? Conceiving. Conceiving with her husband. Right. And, no. God allowed Jesus the leeway 
to impregnate them. <laughs> in seven, I know, also had seven daughters. That's why mm -hmm, they don't tell you this in Sunday school class. <laughs> Because they don't want you to do that. <laughs> uh -oh. uh oh. They're doing what to it? Sealing it. Right. Sealed knowledge means there's something in there that they don't want to understand or you don't understand what it really means. Right? And they're basically playing dumb with it. Right. Oh, we don't know what it means. Right. Even the learned don't know what it means and seals it. Right. And the unlearned plays dumber and don't even try to understand it. Right. <laughs> Those who should understand it won't understand it, and those who don't understand it don't even try, you know what I mean? <laughs> According to Isaiah twenty nine eleven through <laughs> whatever, right? <laughs> you can go to the end of the chapter and still get the gist of what that's saying they're doing, right? When they're doing that, right? Okay. <laughs>